I got an idea for a little piece I'm going to mock up. I'll probably share it with you at the beginning of the video. Hi, I'm Don Bodan from SampleLibraryReview.com. Today we're going to be checking out Hopkins Instrumentarium Roomba Boxes by Sound Iron. Now these are custom instruments, a creative assortment of large wooden bass kalimbas from master instrument inventor Bart Hopkins. This is Sound Iron's continued collaboration with Bart with his custom-built instrument series. The library features two unique handcrafted instruments, multi-sampled as playable articulations, as well as the talent of Sound Iron's sound design for textures, pads, drones. The library downloads is 7.13 gigabytes. It's two unique handcrafted Roomba boxes. Those are bass kalimbas, sampled at 24-bit 48K stereo, delivered as NCW lossless format. There are four master presets with two microphone positions, including plucks, picks, hand percussion, and auxiliary percussion, as well as 20 custom sound design effects and ambient presets. This is a contact player instrument compatible with the free version version of Contact 6 or higher with complete control and NKS compatibility. Roomba Boxes normally sells for $39 US dollars from Sound Iron. At the time of putting this together, it's on a special intro price of $29. I'll be sure to include a link in the description below to take you over to the instrument. Now here's a little piece of music I started working with. I've found the sound quality, the unique timbres and tones to this instrument, so quirky, and the sound design that it inspired me to go ahead and write a piece. Hopkins Instrumentarium instruments are perfectly suited for the quirky and odd nature. And here's a little mock-up I did. got Wumba boxes pulled up. This is a first look video, so this is the first time I'm opening it up, playing with it, sharing it with you to see what it's like right out of the box. Harvey McCone is our first one. It looks like we've got uh, plucks, mallets, hand percussion, and auxiliary percussion articulations. I'm going to mute my mic and just play through this particular preset. One thing I'm hearing right away is, um, I believe these green keys are telling us where the, the sample lives, but because Sound Iron has such high fidelity in their sample sets, I'm going down, way down to like F2, and I'm not getting any noticeable degradation in the sound quality. It holds up all the way from way up here. And uh, F6, F4, pretty cool. So there's uh, some pluck notes, let's listen to some mallets. Thank you. 
Yeah, so quite a variety of tones just with the mallet samples, some hand percussion samples. Those are all the hand percussion samples at once. And then you got finger taps. I think these will be spread across the keyboard. Yeah, so each of these articulations is just the hand percussion set uh, spanned across the keyboard. And we've got auxiliary percussion. Yeah, these are really nice samples. I like these a lot. Let's continue on and listen to just the Roomba box. Okay, so we got the plugs. Picks. Yeah, I really love those kind of vibrating overtones and some percussion. Combo mic one. Pluck notes again. It's really neat how the pitchiness of the sample set here. Got uh, picks on this one as well. Maybe my mic for this. And then we've got percussion instruments. Right, let's check out the combo mic two. Some real earth rumblers with these low notes. Yeah, some nice bit of uh, vibration caught in that one. Here's some mallets. Again, it's those little oddity resonances that I'm resonating with, you could say. Yeah, that's a cool sound there. Hand percussion, auxiliary percussion. Yeah, so much more than you expect the more you dig in. And these are just the acoustic samples. We haven't even gotten into the sound design stuff, but uh, 
yeah, let's jump into the sound design stuff here. All right, a number of effects presets. This is Alphabet Soup. This is using the effects, I guess. Some of these have mod wheel uh, crossfading. That's the way this, uh, if you're not familiar with this engine, it's a four layer sample engine. You got mic one, mic two, ambience, and sub synth. And then you'll see right here, we've got our crossfade from sample A and B's. Sample layer A and B, I should say. So. So this one's pretty cool because it shows us that we've got uh, our ARP on, arpeggiator. And then we've got our ambience layer on layer B. And our mic 2 on layer A. Mic 1 on layer B right here. So you're able to kind of play between those. Really unexpected stuff with that. Uh, let's listen through all of these. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Must be an ARP on there and some effects. Inspiring. And I, I think one thing I love about the uh, custom presets is you can kind of dig in and see what they've done to make the instrument uh, act a little differently with the same with a variation on the samples and effects. Yeah, that's pretty cool. That's a really nice sound. Epic percussion. One called Footprints. It's a really nice sound to that one. Very cinematic. This one's called Godfather. It's got some mod wheel controls. Ah, on our LFO. Yeah, again, I have to say the custom presets are really showing you the ability of the range of the instrument. It's not just a little kalimba that we're playing with here. There's all kinds of stuff going on. That's fun. 
This one's called Inspiration. Let's see if it lives up to the name. One note wonders are a lot of fun. Very inspirational. Jungle Beats. I'm going to turn off the ARP here. Yeah, so it's just a, a sample with some overdrive and some arpe arpeggiation. Again, it shows you how you can take the instrument and create something very unique with it. This one's called Mind Space. Yeah, it has a nice separation, stereo separation. Percussion delay with a mod wheel. That's cool. Let's go over to the effects rack and we can see the mod wheel is tied to our stereo spread and our feedback for our delay. That's pretty cool. Yeah, that's fun. These one note wonders kind of just put a little chord or a couple notes, start to generate a real rhythm, give you an idea of. I have to say, uh, the range of this instrument is what's exciting me. I mean, I'm always surprised anytime I open up one of these sound iron instruments that are only $39, and you get such a vast array of sounds you're able to get out of it. got an idea for a little piece I'm going to mock up. I'll probably share it with you beginning of the video. The Hopkins Instrumentarium line continues to be exciting. Every time they release a new one, I can't wait to take a listen to the demos. There's always a wonderful collection of music being made by these just for the demonstrations. And these are so unique, inspiring sounds with huge range. I mean, we're talking about ethnic sounding instruments turned into some great sound design for not only for inspiration but just for being able to create something unique and add depth uh, that you might otherwise not explore um, starting with a instrument that doesn't exist anywhere else is a great way to create a virtual instrument that sets itself apart. And I think that's what this Roomba Boxes can, does. Uh, I'd love to hear your thoughts about Roomba Boxes. Is this something you're interested in picking up? Are you grabbing the Hopkin Instrumentarium libraries as they're released? Love to hear your thoughts. Please comment below. Please like, share, and subscribe. I always love your support. And be sure to head over to samplelibrarywreview.com for the latest news, reviews, and our weekly deals page. <laughs>